Japan has formally resubmitted documents seeking to obtain UNESCO World Heritage recognition for a controversial former gold mine that has added to diplomatic frictions with South Korea over Japanese colonization of the Korean Peninsula and its wartime actions. Japan's earlier hope to get the Seo Island mine listed as a world heritage. Site this year was delayed because the original documents filed were insufficient and required more information. Japan submitted updated documents on Thursday. The mine in northern Japan operated for nearly 400 years and was once the world's largest gold producer before closing in 1989. Uncertainty remains over its possible recognition by UNESCO. Despite Japan's push, a nomination meeting planned in Russia last June was postponed due to Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, and another meeting has not been set. South Korea has opposed the registration because of Japan's wartime abuse of Korean laborers. Seoul has said some of the Koreans brought to Japan during its 1910-1945 colonization of the Korean Peninsula were put to forced labor at the mine. Japan will have full discussions with South Korea and other related countries so that the Sato Gold Mine will be registered as a World Heritage Site and its incredible value as cultural heritage is highly regarded, Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi told reporters Friday. Historians say Japan used hundreds of thousands of Korean laborers including those forcibly brought from the Korean Peninsula at mines and factories to make up for labor shortages as most working-age men were sent to battlefronts across Asia and the Pacific.